thoracentesis during cardiopulmonary resuscitation by Dr. Samuel Rice Townsend and Dr. Weldon. Introduction. Thoracentesis, or pleural needle decompression, is performed in patients with suspected tension thorax, which may be hydro, hemo, pneumo, or a combination of all three, in order to restore normal cardiopulmonary function and output. In this video, we will be demonstrating the blind technique that is used when a patient has an emergent need for thoracentesis, or pleural needle decompression, such as when a patient is receiving active cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Indications and contraindications. Patients with tension thorax have accumulation of air, fluid, and or blood in the pleural space, causing increased pressure with subsequent compression of the heart and great vessels, impairing venous return, cardiac output, and phasic respiratory function. Signs of tension thorax may include tachycardia, narrow pulse pressure, jugular venous distension, decreased breath sounds on the affected side, decreased heart sounds, hypotension, or evidence of a hydro and or pneumothorax on chest radiograph. Patients may present clinically with varying degrees of dyspnea, tachypnea, tachycardia, poor perfusion, and or change in mental status, including agitation, and thus a high degree of clinical suspicion is required to make the diagnosis. Complete cardiovascular collapse is also a possible presentation to be considered in a patient who is arrested. Pediatric patients at risk for tension thorax include those that have had recent thoracic surgery, trauma or injuries, cancer involving the lung, either primary or secondary disease, respiratory infections, autoimmune or inflammatory disorders of the chest, lungs, pleurae, or placement of central venous catheters. But tension thorax can also occur for spontaneous or cryptogenic reasons. Tension thorax is one of the H's and T's that healthcare providers should remember when providing cardiopulmonary resuscitation on a patient who has pulseless electrical activity. There are no absolute contraindications to emergency decompression of tension thorax. Equipment. Appropriate personal protective equipment, including sterile gloves. Emergency resuscitation medications and equipment. Antiseptic skin cleanser, such as chlorhexidine. Any hollow bore needle of any size or gauge that will have a suitable length to go into the pleural surface from the skin, but ideally a 20 gauge or larger and at least one inch or longer. A needle with a catheter attached is preferred. Any size syringe. Positioning and landmarks. During active cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the patient will be in a supine position. The midclavicular line should be identified and the needle should be inserted approximately one rib space inferior to the clavicular edge. The needle should be advanced over the superior edge of the rib to avoid vessel puncture or injury to the neurovascular bundle that runs along the inferior portion of each rib. Procedure. Cleanse skin. During active cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the patient will not require local anesthesia, but this should be considered for elective or semi-urgent procedures. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be briefly paused during the advancement of needle and aspiration of the syringe. Insert the needle with a syringe attached perpendicular to the long axis of the chest, approximately one rib space below the inferior border of the clavicular edge, just above the superior edge of the rib. Angle the needle at 90 degrees at all times and advance slowly to the length of the needle. An immediate rush of air or fluid should be encountered when tension thorax is a cause for the cardiovascular collapse. The distance from the skin to the pleural space is based on body habitus. Secure the needle at the skin with your other hand to make sure that the needle does not move unnecessarily during the procedure. Manually remove any fluid and or air from the pleural space. If air and or fluid continues to accumulate, you may consider inserting and leaving the catheter in place and continuing to manually remove air and or fluid as it accumulates. Remember to resume cardiopulmonary resuscitation as soon as possible.
A tube thoracostomy should now be immediately performed if a tension thorax is deemed to be the cause and was relieved with the decompression. Complications. Complications include cardiac or vessel puncture, pneumo, hydro, and or hemothorax. Post-procedure monitoring and documentation. Continue cardiopulmonary resuscitation and monitor for any change in hemodynamics. A chest radiograph should be obtained as soon as possible following the procedure if return of spontaneous circulation is achieved. Remember to document the amount and quality of the fluid and or air removed. Please help us improve the content by providing us with some feedback.